Hello there and welcome to the old horseshoe in the banks of the Olentangy. Home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, one of the great settings in sport. And man, this place is rocking today. Colliding here today, two top 25 teams having tremendous seasons set to battle it out against one another. As we'll see the number 12 team of the country, the Indiana Hoosiers. Taking on the fourth ranked team, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Kick this deep to get us going. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So Ohio State's offense comes on the field to open this game. And here comes that star wide receiver. He's got the bounce, the aura. He walks on the field with some swag saying, I'm the man, and I know it. Oh, he certainly does, and you know what? He probably should. It's founded in all the hard work that he puts in, the dedication in the summertime during practice. You can see some of the defensive backs watch him as he warms up studying him because they know it's going to be a long day trying to deal with this receiver. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. The Buckeyes pick up enough yards to move the sticks. You know, Chris, what a great run here. You think about Ohio State, you think lately about those NFL-ready wide receivers. But we all know it starts with their running games, all those great backs they've had over the years. The offense goes five wide, empty backfield. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Solid game, moves the ball to the 37. Again, makes it second and medium. Looking to pass, it's Howard. And it falls incomplete. The defensive pressure hurried to throw that time. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When the quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. And an explosive game moves the ball across midfield. Well spotted at the 42. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Fires it to the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. And I love that they continue to go back to this talented wide receiver. That's back-to-back -back plays with big gains, and it's not surprising. Like I said, the scouting report all week long, we heard about this guy's ability to make plays against this defense, and the quarterback and the receiver right now have a nice rhythm going. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Caught on the outside, it's a Buka. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Second down after that completion. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. That one falls incomplete, looking for a flag, doesn't get it, brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. 
Here comes the eighth play of the opening drive, but now it's third down. Looking to throw it again. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, the script from the offensive coordinator works perfectly here to get this game started for this offense. Great job of mixing up a lot of different looks to get a read and a gauge of what this defense is up to today. And you're able to put six points up on the board. Great start. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They jump in front 7 0. Here's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. The Hoosiers offense gets their first crack now. Got a great matchup today, Kirk, of elite corners. They put these guys on islands, and they believe they can shut down anybody across them. If you're going to have a great defense right now in college football, you better be able to cover on the outside. And these two teams happen to have the two of the top corners in the game. And a sophomore making an impact play. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. Bring him down after just a short pickup. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. And it falls incomplete. I like the call here. Third down and long, you know they're going to apply pressure. The screen game almost works, but you've got to complete the pass for your guy to have a chance to turn up field. It's a missed opportunity there on third down and long. And the Hoosiers will line up to punt it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive, right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Second down after that run on the previous play. Guys, are going to keep this drive rolling. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. It's a quarterback keeper. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy in your center today for this defense. But they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. 
Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated to get the ball in his hands, you do it. Buckeyes pick up enough yardage for a first down. Back to pass. It's Howard. Pass caught. Can he get in? And they've got him. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Solid gain puts him in good position for second down and goal. Around the end, it's Henderson. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, they're just not successful here on second and goal, but let's give a lot of credit to this defense. They've looked good on these first two opportunities by the offense. They strung that last play out and forced a loss of yardage, bringing up third down. Third down and goal. Crucial play coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ohio State. How in the world do you lose track of the reliable tight end on that play? The only thing I can think about is the defense is so locked in on the wide receivers or maybe the running game that they just forgot about the tight end. The guy's wide open. That's an easy throw. Now the try here for the extra point. The kick sails through, so the lead is 14-0. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Ball handed off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And he's got it again. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. The Hoosiers will line up to put it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the return will be brought down. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. Really excellent possession last time. The mix, the run, and the pass kept the defense off balance and route to a touchdown. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. And you know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient, prolific quarterback under center. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Second down after that run on the previous play. Now they're running on the toss. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. 
Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. He's escaping the pocket now. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there. Play breaks down. Instead of just throwing it away, he sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up the first down by himself. Impressive run to pick up the first, keep this drive moving. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. What really good run by this running back. The defense fortunate to be able to bring him down inside the 10-yard line, but it's first and goal for the offense. This defense is reeling now. First down and goal. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. A run to the left, trying to find Pater. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And I really thought on second goal, you might see the offensive coordinator elect to throw the ball, but instead try to catch the defense napping by running. And man, does it backfire. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. He's moving out of the pocket now. Solid tackle, able to get him down. Oh my gosh, Chris, I thought he was going to be able to find a way to get to the end zone. He is such a threat when he takes off, he pulls that ball down and tries to get to the end zone on these scrambles, but the defense just keeps him out of the goal line. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot, and he knocks it right through the uprights, and they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Getting set, it's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Grab down the middle, it's cross. They make the tackle, but not for a solid gain on that pass. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Put quickly. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 33-yard line. This drive is going now. Well, Kurt, Ohio State has the lead here after one. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Two 
physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Yeah, the quarterback makes the right decision here on the RPO to get out of the run game, get the ball out to that right flat, just not able to execute with the throw. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Dropping back. It's Rourke. There's a screen pass to the running back. Seven-yard gain sets up a third and three. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. So the ball placed right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. Looking to chuck it again. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And he gets it away, a directional kick with pretty good distance. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. In the clear at the 25. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. It's a shotgun run call. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Second down after that run on the previous play. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And that's good for a first down near the 40. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down. Really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins. Just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. The Buckeyes getting set on first and 10. Quarterback pulls the ball, it's a keeper. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit, they didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play, but this kind of play's gotta be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Howard. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark, see if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. Now the offense faces third and long from the 30. Can they convert and get a drive going? Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looking to scramble. Using his legs here. That's a nice scramble there. A big gain, but not enough for the first down. Chris, the advantage there obviously was with the defense on third down and long. And they do a good job of taking away things downfield. But, man, you got to account for... The quarterback taking off and running. Nobody does, so he gets big yards, and now he gives the offense a chance here on fourth down. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They came up empty on the last position, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. 
caught over the middle. It's Price. And they'll move to six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. First and ten now for the offense. And the wideout goes in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Second down play coming up. Looking downfield, it's Rourke. Running back grabs it on the screen. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. He stopped short of the first down. Now the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screenplay. Nice positive gain for the offense. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Back to throw again. With the catch, it's Cooper. Brought down quickly, but it's a big game through the air. Spot the ball at the 45. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Grab down the middle. It's Cooper. They bring him down after a short game there. You see more and more offenses in college football going with three receivers. And the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out. And you can take advantage of him. Pass caught. Second down now. Offense looking to throw the ball. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Kind of a fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing a screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early, obviously, and the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. You've got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. Bringing pressure. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Finally, the defense is able to come up with a play on this drive. Let's face it, this offense has been able to put things together. The quarterbacks had a nice drive, but finally, great job of getting the pressure and getting after that quarterback. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Caught over the middle. It's Abuka. Look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. Think about it. Over the last eight or ten years, 
I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Quick throw, testing the middle. The tight end makes the catch downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Man, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Here's the second down play. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. But I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Gets made on the out route. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. The Buckeyes with first and 10 here. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Howard. Defense is coming after him. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Tackle at the five yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. Buckeyes line up with a first and goal. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Smith. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Looking to pass here on second down. Touchdown, Buckeyes! This passing game is still on fire. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down in the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Williams. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. And the Hoosiers looking to run some tempo here. Scanning the field, it's Rourke. It's incomplete.
incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. Man, you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Oh, and he could not haul it in. A third down drop brings out fourth now. On third and short, the offense coordinator has his entire playbook open. You could run it or you could throw it. Either one's available. They chose to go through the air here. He's not able to hit it. Hoosiers will have to kick it away. That's his fourth punt already today. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play, bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Send the back in motion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And here's the return from inside the five. The returner is brought down. Gets a start on the next drive. So they start the drive looking for some late fireworks here. Less than 30 seconds before halftime. They're going to run it. Defense makes the stop after a five-yard gain. So second and five. for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Columbus for an entertaining first half than you? And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's gonna be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. The Buckeyes will kick this away to begin the second half. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. They stop him right at the 24. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Tackled right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. This line getting set up, it's a first down play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. 
That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. The completion makes it second down. Handing off on the draw play. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And he's going to float this one to the right side. The pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. Now the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they can take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit him for a big one. No kick it away here. Punt lands at the six, but heads into the end zone for a touchback. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. Game moves it to the 35, first down again. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So this defense finally makes a play. That's one of the few negative plays with this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little plays like that can be points of positivity of what coaches will likely focus on as they move forward. Second down after that previous play. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Dropping back. It's Howard. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And they get him down after the completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. Meets Scott. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. For this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. With the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. The shotgun running play call. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. So the ball at midfield, and now the offense facing a third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. What guys will have to punt this one away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. It's a quick grab. He stopped, but he gets a first down. 
You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. The loss sets up a second and long for the 20. They'll hand it off. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. That back just had nowhere to go. Gotta give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Running back has it on a screen now. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down. And now it's fourth down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. And the Hoosiers will line up to kick it away. Butter getting a serious workout today on the punt for the sixth time. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Kibi decides to keep it here. Solid game, moves the ball to the 37. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary, potentially a big play. Read option, the quarterback keeps it. And why he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. Important second down play coming up. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And they'll stop him short of the line of game. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. the 40 that will earn a fresh set of downs. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. The Buckeyes starting a new series here on first and ten. He hands it off from the gun. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To the air. It's Howard. The pocket breaking down. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Cannot connect, incomplete, and now fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He was hoping that would check up, but a big bounce sends it into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. 
the last possession they were forced to kick it away can they finally get things going this time keeping it on the ground here shakes off the tackle with a stiff arm stop at the 36 that's good enough to move the sticks you know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Makes a quick catch. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's work. The pass rush closing in. Caught way downfield for a huge gain. They've got him, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it about the 27. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. He's got it right near the end zone. And he scores! Touchdown, Hoosiers. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Here comes the point after attempt. Extra point is good. It's a 31-10 game. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He cannot escape the defense with a sack. Oh, really nice by the big fella there, a defensive tackle. He never bought into that play-action fake and went right in for the quarterback and brought him down. This big guy's up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. To the air. It's Howard. Receiver makes the grab. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. That completion sets up a third down play. Here's the snap, looking to throw. The ball is picked off. Not a long return, but the pick changes possession. The offense will take over at the 28. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. And check out how he's been spreading the football around between his targets, getting everybody involved in this game.
So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And that pass falls incomplete. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. The offense was given a short field. Now can the defense come up with a huge stop here on third down? Scanning the field. It's work. It's a short completion of the big tight end. The completion picks up about eight yards, but sets up a fourth down play now. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down, look at a throw for it. Finds his man, has the first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. The Hoosiers will line up now. It's first and goal. Looking to throw again. Caught near the goal line. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense facing second and goal. They'll run it from the gun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four-down territory. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. They break the huddle on third and goal. Field goal doesn't do much good here. There's the snap. He's looking to throw. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third-down defensive play. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Remember, a field goal here doesn't do much. So on fourth and goal, they're going for the touchdown. Back to throw. It's the work. Looking to the end zone. The pass is batted down, broken up on fourth down. What a play. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? So they run the ball to get some breathing room, or will they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? They've got him, but not before a solid gain on the ground there. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice gain. Getting set. Here's second down. Using his legs, it's Henderson. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And at first down, they go right back to him. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They're going to run it here. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Third down coming up after that running play. Dropping back. We'll get a throw for the first down. Makes the catch. It's a Buka. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. 
The Buckeyes are on the move here. And here's the handoff. They've got him down out near the 40. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Tailback with another carry. They'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Looking to throw. It's Howard. Looks to the left for a quick throw. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And this one is getting ugly. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. Planning up to try the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it down into scoring position, but got stopped on fourth and goal. Got to put that behind them. Grab down the middle. It's Horton. They stop him, but it's a first down. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Price. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. I love what the defense is doing here. Sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock rolling. Second down play coming up for this offense. To throw, it's Rourke. He's running out of time here. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to throw yet again. Launching downfield. Caught over the middle by the tight end. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Hoosiers have first and 10 here. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Looking for the wideout, but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Now it's second down here. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Pass not complete. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he pulls in the catch. 
and the gain just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Back to pass. It's Rourke. Short throw running back makes the catch behind the line of scrimmage. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Picks up about three yards there, but it's going to be fourth down. Now they run the football here. I thought he might have enough room to be able to extend and get across that first down mark, but he's going to be a couple yards short. Good job by the defense of having awareness of space there to do exactly what they needed to do to bring him down. Trying for a fourth down completion. He's got it near the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Indiana. Love this never say die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. Here's the point after attempt. And he knocks it right through. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the hand seam able to recover the football. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll work the clock here with the running game. And that run produces a decent game. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. to the right. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches. I think he makes the right read here. He gets the ball out to his receiver, but the receiver's got to win. He's got to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup against the defender, and he doesn't. So now we got a fourth down. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. He was successful with his last kick. This one, though, from 46 yards away. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. Fields it inside the five-yard line. 
and he's top of him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And that's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. And it's caught. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from him. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? To throw, it's a work. Makes the catch. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Price. And he goes down after a huge game. This offense is clicking now. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The Hoosiers line up on first and 10 now. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Looking to throw it on first down. It's an out route. The catch made. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure. They've been physical with the line of scrimmage. Good job in space. And a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. Looking to throw it again. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. Defense makes the stop after the completion. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Offense looking to keep this drive going into the red zone. It's third down and short. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. The offense has been pretty efficient. They've made two out of three fourth down tries so far. They'll try it again here. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Well, there's nothing better than that. Fourth down and one. Hand it off to your back. He's able to get behind that offensive line and pick up the first down for a new set of downs. See what the call is on first and ten. Dropping back. It's Rourke. Running out of time in the pocket. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better. But it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Here's a throw underneath to the back. It's going to be a loss on the play. Four set of bounds. Great play by the defense. This will be the 10th play of the drive, but it's third and long. Dropping back. He's going to throw for the first down. Pressure is coming. Heavy pressure. He lets it go. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And the Hoosiers will look to convert here on fourth down. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Looking to the end zone. 
Downfield and incomplete. A fourth down stop. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. 